I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. Y you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of him, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guy. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe.
I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. Throw out the guns! Very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. Don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe! Where are you, damn it? You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice.
Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Who, oh, you crazy son of a bitch? How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Life, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. That's a hell of a payroll. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. It can't be stopped, Kelso. 
There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? <coughs> Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked as a bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! <laughs>